She likes to lay in the sun. She likes to find the warm spots. She's kind of developed into a lap cat. She'll sit next to me or on me uh, whenever I'm, you know, working on the computer or, or sitting down for a long period of time. She's always been very okay with being handled. I don't know if it's something just where she trusts me so much, you know, grab her paws, make sure, you know, she's not just stepping anything crazy or, you know, make sure I get the sand out from between her toes. She doesn't seem to care about any of that. Like she's, I, she's always been handled, you know, since she was little and I've always done my best to do it nicely. So it's, it's just, she's super chill. She's just, you know, she has her bouts of energy like any cat does where she gets like the three o'clock in the morning zoomies or, you know, tearing up and down the boat at, you know, odd hours of the, the day. But, you know, she's just, she's just like a normal cat, just normal cat. I can say that if anybody out there is thinking about adopting a blind cat, whether a senior cat that's gone blind or like Sophie, one that's been blind since birth or, you know, how, however it happens, just do it. It's there. There's literally no additional work involved other than kind of trying to work your brain around how they are navigating. There's no reason not to. It's just absolutely go for it. <laughs>